wait! I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Right guys, welcome back. Um, this is chapter 3, obviously, of Life is Strange. And um, we're continuing off where we left off. Where I saved... Oh, what's her name again? I'm really bad with names. Kate. <laughs> yeah, so on this one, Kate's alive. Alright, so I've got a photo opportunity to do. Looks like a statue award. Aquarium. I assume that's like a squirrel. Alright, let's get going. Nothing on my laptop. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Right, let's see if I can nose you around some of this room. That's a girl, brush your teeth. Hey Max, I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Uh, see anything to blame? Should come for her. So I don't wanna blame her. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I already told you that my mom is in the hospital. I'm done for the day. <laughs> Ugh, Cave Max want to shower, but no time. Must meet Chloe. Let me change the outcome for a second. Max, I saw you. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, let's get some more information out of her. Max. I know. 
Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm not getting enough right now. Right now. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? What do you want? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hey, that's the picture. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the statue, isn't it? It's so frustrating to be able to take the picture, you have to be at the right angle. Or you have to say the right thing. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You th I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here early. Not me. I... Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. This is both sad and pathetic. All right, looks like I can't get the picture of that one, so let's keep it moving.
so Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Blackwell almost lost another student. Wish Kate Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down. With you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I turned the power or something. Turn the light so you can't see me. Oh, great! He saw me. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Must be a fuse box somewhere. Nothing but tools. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Come on, there must be something in here. 